hello guys this is just a very quick video you know just to share a little you know insight on what problem i've been having since i upgraded to mac os sierra and i'm still on the first version i believe it's a 10.12 and like i didn't do what i usually do is just wait for the you know the x.1 version where they always fix the bugs at the point one or point two versions well i just beat the bullet and went ahead and went to the straight to the point zero version and now i pay the price i've been having problems with bluetooth and i've seen in the internet a lot of people having problems with wi-fi but i haven't experienced such you know slowdowns or cutoffs uh, but I have been having a lot of problems with Bluetooth when when I use clamp shell mode, which I do often in my desk. And uh, you can see that in the desktop tour, where I explain a little bit of how I use my MacBook as a desktop also. And uh, I, when I usually use it, is yes, it's in dual screen mode with the know, MacBook opened up so I can have dual screens but when I need the horsepower or I just don't need the two windows I'll close the MacBook and just use the uh, 23 inch Acer monitor just as the main window but when I do that right away like two three seconds after I close in clamshell mode it just starts jittering and uh, I don't know, Bluetooth starts disconnecting the keyboard when I type it just goes crazy and I know retypes the same letter like a hundred times and it just won't stop it's just the bluetooth goes crazy and the trackpad and my magic mouse are completely useless and for your information the devices i'm using is the logitech i know q i know 811 keyboard is the illuminated i know wireless bluetooth keyboard and also the logical and a trackpad the t651 and a trackpad which works very, pretty good. I know they're not bad, but I actually actually have the actual Magic Mouse, and even that was working terrible. My iPhone also, which I'm using a Near Lock app to, I know, unlock my computer when I get near it. It's an awesome app. I really recommend it to everybody. Well, that's uh, for another video, but everything was just disconnecting i could not get anything to work and so i went around on the internet and i found a hint to just i know try it and delete the plist files and all right so what we do is just go to your library your desktop libraries folder go to preferences and then in here you're gonna find the bluetooth list file there it is this is the one just delete it I deleted it and I reboot it I turn off my Bluetooth turn off the Bluetooth first and then delete the plist file I reboot it turn on the Bluetooth and everything is working fine actually right now I'm in clamp shell mode and it's working fine. Here's the magic mouse. Here's the trackpad. I can use all my I don't know, shortcuts that I have. And everything seems to be working fine. And so I believe that was a fix. And yes, every time we upgrade, there's going to be glitches and little bugs here and there. And sometimes it's just a Mac OS since it needs time to I know, build a catch. And the files get used to where the new programs as files are it takes time and it'll speed up in time but i just thought this bluetooth problem was a little bit too much and yeah i believe it was just resetting the p list fix the problem so right now my trackpad everything is working really well here are my bluetooth everything seems good all right so that's it that's my quick tutorial on how to fix the Bluetooth or troubleshoot at least because I don't even know what the real fix is and with the Mac OS Sierra. So I hope you, this helped people out there. Uh, leave comments or any questions you may have or actually if you have other uh, ways to fix 
uh, troubleshoot the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi issues with Mac OS Sierra or have you had any other kind of problems with Mac OS Sierra? Let me do let me know down below. Well, you guys have a good one and peace.